Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to animate the character, in this case, the snowman. We're gonna make his uh, arm go up like that and showcase the sign. And we're gonna blink his eyes and we're gonna turn his head so that he can look at the sign and then turn back and look at the camera. Really, really easy. And it's just a couple little things that we need to do. And so let's go ahead and get started, guys. Okay, so this is the scene that we've built and this is the snowman that we parented in the last video. He's all parented now. If we move his arms, the whole arm goes with it. If you move, if we rotate the head, the whole head, face, hat are parented to the head. And so we're ready to animate. So let's go ahead and get started. I am going to start by uh, getting a pose, posing him in the first uh, initial pose. He's not going to be posing in this T pose. And so what I'd like to do is go ahead and turn on my auto key and go ahead and change the global orientation to local so that each one of these will have its local axis. And uh, let's go ahead and get that done. So I am going to pose him in uh, with his hands on his um, hip here. In fact, I'm gonna go just a little bit. Oh, so what I need to do also is create a starting keyframe for all of these parts. Let me just go ahead and uh, put him put his arm right about there he has his arm right on his hip his hand on his hip and so I'd like to go ahead and create a keyframe right there even though we have auto key it, it won't work for the first keyframe so let's go ahead and hit I to insert a keyframe and we're gonna keyframe the rotation only and so I might as well select both of these hit I and keyframe the rotation so we've got the rotation keyframe at frame one. That means if we move the playhead, it'll stay at frame one. Awesome, let's do the other arm. Let's go ahead and get these. Um, well, first of all, let's pose it. Let's push this one, let's move it forward a bit. Let's put this one back. And then, and then the hand this way. There we go. He's kind of chilling with his hands on his hips. And let's go ahead and select all three of these and create a keyframe. And so I'll, I'm going to hit I and keyframe the rotation. So all of animation is just timing. How do you time stuff? How long does it take for him to extend his arm and point to the sign? Um, and I'm thinking it's going to take about maybe roughly about a second, 25 frames, 24 frames. And so what I'd like to do is I'd like to go ahead and, and start extending this arm. And so we're going to do this and we're going to do this. Oh, of course. We need to move the playhead over to about frame 25. Let's extend this arm out and extend this arm out. And we're going to maybe push this one over a little bit this way. And remember, we're trying to do the, the end position. So I'm gonna move this one back and this one like this and this one like that he's kind of like displaying the sign and so um if you see it it's not bad it's not bad at all but it, we could right in the middle of it maybe push it forward a bit forward just to get those those um uh, arcs this let's see what that looks like so now he's moving forward and then pushing it back there we go it's kind of like rotating it 
I like that. Let's see what it looks like in real speed. Uh, play. It's a little slow. So let's uh, speed it up a bit. Select uh, both of these and the hand. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this keyframe and push it in. Grab this. Instead of 24, let's do like 18. See what happens. See how I like it. Go back. Oh, I like that a little bit better. Boom. There it is. Before we go any further, this animation is going to be about 5 seconds. So 5 times 24 is 120. So I'm going to cut this to 120. This is 5 seconds. And we already animated the first one. But the only thing that I'd like to do, let me hit play. Boom, there it is. The only thing that I don't like is that it starts, this arm starts to move right at frame one. And so I'm gonna give it a pause of about 10 frames. That's about half a second. And then it starts moving. So I'm gonna select uh, these and I'm gonna grab all the keyframes and move them to tame, uh, frame 10. So that way there's a little pause right there and then it moves there and then it moves the second thing I'd like to animate is the head the head's going to turn around look at the um, look at the sign and then turn back at you like saying hey look at the sign um, and so right about when he points to it let's let's start at frame 20 with the head selected at frame 20 I am going to hit I to create that first keyframe and I'm going to keyframe the rotation only so we have a keyframe at frame 20 and this him turning back will only take about 10 frames let's do 12 frames so we're going to rotate it and we're going to maybe to about there and then let's see let's see that boom maybe just a little slower I'm gonna move these a couple frame just this one and the other thing I'd like to do there it is that looks good and so the the other thing I'd like to do with the head selected I can see my keyframes here I am going to put a slight arc on it that means it's going to he's going to turn down and up down and up just a little arc right there and see what that looks like oh a little better maybe at the end he's looking a little slightly more up right there and so I like that boom and then he looks at the sign for let's say a couple of seconds and at frame 75, he's going to turn back. So we need to keyframe this position. It's a, it's a hold. I, and then rotation. And then we're going to do about the same thing. So I'm going to push it up to 90. And let's bring it back to where he's supposed to be. Looking at you. Looking at the camera. And then remember that we did the little right there so let's look at just ahead he looks back holds it and then looks back at you all right that's looking good the last thing we're going to animate is the eyes they're gonna blink so what I'd like to do is time the eyes to blink when he's turning his head and so let's go ahead and select the eyes they're going to blink and they're just going, I'm, all I'm doing is sizing them. And so what I'd like to do right at frame 20, uh, let's create that first keyframe and we're going to keyframe the scale only. And so mm, right about there, I want them to, oh, but wait, the, a blink is very fast. So we're going to blink, I'm going to shut his eyes down in about four frames. Get him to me like that, and then in about six or seven frames, open him up. Right 
there. Let's see what that looks like. Boop. There we go. Let's, let's have him blink again when he's looking at the sign. Let me select the eyes. And for that, guys, not a big deal. I just select all three keyframes. Shift D to duplicate and then move them right to where I want them. And so he's going to have a second blink right there. Blink. And then when he comes back, I like for him to blink again. So Shift D right there. Let's see what that looks like. And then lastly, at the very end, Shift D. Do another one. Let's see what everything looks like together. I'm going to deselect that. Hit play. He turns. There we go. That looks pretty cool. And that's it. I mean, you can have him do a lot of other things. Uh, for example, maybe um, let's see if, let's see what this looks like. If we um, have this arm be not in that position let's move this keyframe over to frame 24 but when we start it maybe it's not in that position maybe uh it's down by his side like that maybe it's there and then when he when he moves this one let's see what that looks like i like that it gives it a little bit more um dynamic one other thing is this arm stays very very still and so what i'd like to do is give it a little bit of a motion after it reaches its final destination so maybe i'm going to just move it very very slightly very slightly just at what they call a a steel hold where it's not moving but it's moving let's see what that looks like There we go. You know, it, it, it kind of moves and it gives it a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of motion. And it, see this hand is not a big deal. It's resting. But this one, this hand is up in the air. So he's having a little bit of trouble just keeping it up there. And that's what it's called a, a still hold. So let's uh, just open up everything else, guys. I have I had everything hidden from our last scene. Boom, everything's there. Let's go to the camera and hit zero. Let's hit play. And so there it is. Not a big deal. Um, I am going to make one tiny little adjustment uh, that I don't like. I'm gonna move this tree either behind him. Um, I just don't like that the contrast there, it's the hand is kind of too much of the same color. I think I'm just going to put it out here. And there. Let's look at it. Oh, there he goes. He's presenting the sign and he's happy about it. Hey guys, that is it. We've animated the character. We've modeled it and we rigged it using the parenting method. And now we've just animated it and it was easy. And that proves that you can do a character easy, use the parenting method and you can animate a character very, very easily. It's kind of an alternative to using armatures. I'd like to do a course on doing a character all the way from modeling to rigging to animating but that is in the future. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. Our next video here will be the particles. We're going to create snow and make it snow. And so we're going to do the particles and then maybe lastly, how to render this into a movie. 
Hey guys, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.